my name is Katie. I'll be your occupational therapy practitioner. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. And what is your name? Lauren. Nice to meet you, Lauren. Nice to meet you, too. So tell me, what brought you in here today? Um, I recently had a stroke, and I'm having difficulty with my left arm, and it just isn't able to work like it used to. Okay. So what were you able to do before your stroke, and what are you not able to do now? Um, before my stroke, I was able to dress myself independently, and now I need assistance. Okay, so I understand your goals and your concerns, so today I'm going to help you with a technique that will help you, and you'll be able to dress yourself by using one of your arms. Okay, so before we get started, do you have any questions? Um, no, not right now. Okay, so what this technique that I'm going to show you is called Donna Shirt and it's using one of your arms. So you're mostly going to be using your dominant arm to help kind of aid your weak arm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it first, and then we're going to go back and break it down to steps and different behaviors so that it's easier for you and okay? okay? So first you're going to take your shirt, and you're going to lay it down on your lap with both of the arms out, okay? Now we're going to use our dominant hand and our arm to kind of gather up the fabric. Okay? We're going to bring it close to our, our arm. Okay? And then we're going to stick it through. Okay? And then we're going to use our dominant arm and and then we're going to use our head and our neck to kind of scoop our neck into the neck hole. Okay? Put our chin down, shrug our shoulders. And use our dominant arm to kind of lift the shirt like this. And now we use the trunk of our body to kind of help adjust the shirt comfortably. And do it look like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Before we get started, do you have any questions? Um, no, I don't. Okay, and the whole point of doing this um, technique is so that you can learn to dress yourself independently, and it's more of a self-esteem booster too, and you can dress yourself before or after, you know, in the morning, at night, um, when you have a special occasion. So, can you please go over what I just showed you in your own words and what we're going to be doing today. Um, you just showed me a way to um, put on my shirt using a one arm technique, one handed technique. Okay. So, any questions before we start? Nothing? No. I think I'm ready. Okay. So, the first step is going to be dressing the arms. Okay, so we're going to use our dominant arm and we're just going to kind of lay out the shirt. Alright, and now with the dominant arm is we are going to gather the fabric. Okay. So once we gather the fabric, we're then going to feed it into the weak arm. Alright, so once we have that, we are then going to use our dominant arm and we are going to stick it through the sleeve. You can kind of use your dominant arm to kind of adjust to. Alright, so that was the first step. So now I want you to show me what I just did. Done. How do you think you did? Um, I think that I just need to position my shirt lower on my lap so that I can just 
get my arms in the armholes and it will just make it easier for me to put my arm in. Okay. This will help you improve. Is there anything else that you might want to do next time to improve the step? Mm -hmm. Just gather more to get up my arm before I place my arm in on the sleeve. Okay. I think that you should do that and that's really good. Um, you need to take as much time as possible because in order to perfect it, it's just going to take practice. Okay. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to use our head and our neck to kind of help us with the whole dressing, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to um, make sure that your chin is tucked in towards your chest like this. Mm -hmm. And you're going to shrug your shoulders up. And then afterwards you're going to kind of have the dominant arm kind of help you get the um, shirt over your head and neck. Okay. okay? So we're going to put our chin in like this. And then shrug the shoulders up. And we're going to kind of use our dominant arm to put over your shirt like this. And then we're going to slide right into it like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So now can you show me what I just did? Okay, that was really good. How do you think that you did? Well, I think it was a little bit of a challenge, but um, I think the hardest part was just getting my head into the corporate spot. Well, fine. Like I said, I guess it's just going to take practice. Why do you think that was so difficult? Um, it's just something that I'm not used to. Um, they used to have full use of both arms, and now I'm able to use my one arm. Okay. okay. Um, you did well. Make sure that you tuck your head in fully to your chest. And next time, focus on the specific task. And don't rush. And you can always use your unaffected arm to help kind of guide the shirt through the hole and just make sure that it's adjust it properly on your arm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for okay. next time. The last step I'm going to show you is how to dress the trunk of the body, okay? So what you're going to do now is you are going to pull the shirt over your midsection, okay? Mm -hmm. Like this. And you're going to just adjust it accordingly so that it is in a comfortable position for you. Okay. So um, now you show me what I just did. Eventually, you'll be able to master it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, I want you to put all the steps together accordingly and um, remember that you have to dress your arms first, then your neck head, and then the trunk of your body. Okay, so do you want me to help you with getting your shirt off? Or? Sure. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're going to make sure that, that we have. Good job. How do you think that you did? I think that it will take time to learn how to do this. But, um, I think that they said it's just going to take time putting all the steps together, and this will definitely help you go overall with your self confidence, with just being able to put the shirt on for yourself. Um, so, what do you think was the most easiest part for you, and what do you think was the most challenging part? Um, I think the easiest part was just adjusting the bottom of the shirt. Mm -hmm. And the, hard, the hardest part was just making sure my arm was positioned in the shirt sleeve because I can't fully move. Mm -hmm. Just getting that adjusted. While you're doing the scale, I know that you 
were able to do it without struggling. I didn't notice that you do have a hard time using the weak arm and putting it through the sleeve. But I did also notice too that you did use your non-effective arm to help you to um, kind of guide the weaker arm through the sleeve, which was good. But just know that you can always use your, your dominant arm just to help you. Okay, so we're going to next time. And um, this will also make it easier for the fabric to go up your arm too by using your mm -hmm. dominant arm. So is there anything else that you want to discuss? Um, not today. I'll just um, keep this in mind for next time. Okay. And I'm dressing. And how do you feel about this learning experience? Um, I've enjoyed this new, um, learning this new skill. I don't have to depend on people as much anymore. And mm -hmm. I'll just keep practicing. Okay. And do you think this is something you can do by yourself? Do you have any questions? I think I'll be able to do this so well. I'm just day by day. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Just to recap what we did today, the three main behaviors we did were dressing the arm, um, dressing the head and the neck, and then the trunk of the body. Um, make sure that when you're dressing your arms, you're going to position the shirt, gather the fabric, um, put your weak arm through the hole, and then put your unaffected arm through the hole and adjust the sleeves and make sure that you um, just know that you can always use your dominant arm to kind of help you. The second main behavior is dressing the head, which includes putting the chin in towards the chest, yes. um, shrugging your shoulders up, and leaning forward and putting your head through the neck hole and kind of using your dominant arm to kind of aid. Then the last step is dressing the torso, which includes pulling the sweatshirt over your body and adjusting it to your comfort level. Yes, I think that you did really good. And feel free to always ask me questions. After today, you can use these skills to successfully help you don on a shirt. Okay, thank you for all your help today. You're welcome. And um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'll give you my phone number. Okay, it was really nice to meet you, Lauren. Thank you. You're welcome.